Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with my first thoughts on Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet, which is a visual novel, uh, sort of game thing that I picked up a little while ago and forgot to do a video on, I just sort of forgot I picked it up. So we're gonna look at it now, uh, it's very gay, uh, I think it might have some nudity, I can't really remember. Um, I'm gonna mark this as an adult content video, if so. Um, but yeah, let's 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 start it and have a look. But yeah, it's it's cute girls doing cute things. <laughs> Rada Laika games, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice feature. You can play in regular English, or you can play in English with the dyslexic font. Interesting. I'm gonna be reading it out anyway, so I'll go with the default font. N nom nom nami presents. Syrup in the ultimate sweet. Hint, as long as you're nice to her, she won't put a hex on you. Options? Uh, yeah, it's a visual novel, so you've got visual novel looking options. Things like skipping different amounts of text, stuff like that. Text speed, uh, time, fast forwarding. Uh, the language you want to play in, which we already had a look at. Uh, let's start. In a peaceful town of magic users, there is a shop that only sells ordinary, non-magical candies, Atelier Sweets. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as a superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her case. But a magical surprise waits in her basement workshop. Hmm? What's this thing? Good morning, how are you today? Uh, fine? I am also fine. Pastille, could you come down here, like, now? Um, I would like it if you told me your name. I would tell you mine, but I was not given one. Syrup. Pastille, hurry up. You are Syrup. It is very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, that's not happening. Pastille, get down here already! Syrup, it is very important that we get along. You stay away from me. I want you out of my lab right now. What is this you are holding? Uh, what's it look like? It's candy. You are eating it? Yep, that's the whole point of candy, to get eaten. I see. Then, please eat me. What? No, you weirdo. But you have to. It is my purpose as candy. Uh, I feel like she might not be okay. <laughs> I'm not eating you. Is there a problem? Please put me in your mouth. Oh dear. It's about time, Pastille. Make her stop. I promise I taste good. Here, just start with a finger. I said no. I'm not going to eat a person. It's too weird. I am not just a person, I am candy. He said the whole point of candy is to get eaten. Hmm. Sai, why don't you just eat her then? Is it, hang on, Sai, si, Sir. Like it's syrup, it's not syrup. So, Sir, si, 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 I don't know. Because she's not regular candy. I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I'd not act human, you would eat me? Nope, it's too late. I'm never eating you ever, got it? N no Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change her mind one day. Don't encourage her. Whose side are you on? I, I will not give up. I will get along with Syrup. If you want to get along so badly, stop telling me to eat you. Pastille, do something about this. Me? Yeah, you. It's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I know exactly where this girl came from. Y you do? That rotten witch made her to torment me. This is all her stupid, elaborate prank. You forgot to lock this place up last night, and look what happened. Oh, yeah, that's probably what happened. Whoops, my apologies. Whatever, just hurry up and get her out of here. I've got work to do. Yes, the important work of eating me. I said that's not gonna happen. Syrup, you were going the wrong way. Hold on. You'll never be able to get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah, can't you tell? She doesn't like it very much. You have to find out what she likes. P 
Bastille, I can't help but notice this doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds like the, the complete opposite. Alright, Master, I will find out what she likes. Master? Maybe she means Master of the Household? This is my store, not a house. If anyone's the Master, it's me. Should I have not called you Master, Master? Um, just Pastille is fine. Master Pastille! Well, that's close enough. You, quit being so friendly with my assistant. And you, I thought I told you to get her out of here. Come on, Sy. I don't know how to abbreviate syrup to S Y. It doesn't make sense. She's not hurting anything. You're forgetting it was that witch who made her. Obviously, as a prank or something. Just watch. She'll start wrecking my lab any minute. Hmm. I don't think she ever planned on wrecking anything, Sai. Are you saying I'm wrong, and that she's here for some other reason? Well, I don't know. I just think. You, Candy Weirdo, who made you? That is a secret. Figures, why are you here then? To get along with Syrup. See? Harmless. Shut your face. Alright, wanna know the secret to getting along with me? Yes! Stay out of my lab! But... Let's give her some space for now, okay? Okay. Why shouldn't listening to Pastille? Stupid candy weirdo. A little while later. One more batch of these, and shoot, I need more tartrazine, because I'm taking a shopping break. Then, every day after the cleaning's done, we take inventory. Running a store sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Pastille. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, Sai, I'm teaching her how we run the store. I am helping! No, 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 no. You were supposed to make her leave, not reveal all our trade secrets. And why'd you dress her up like that? Would you rather she kept walking around naked? She needs a uniform if she's gonna work here. She's not working here. I wanna work for Syrup. Let's get along. Cut it out. What are you thinking, Pastille? What if she really was sent here as a spy so that witch can ruin us? It's like you're just handing her, her our business. We could use the extra help. If she does turn out to be Butterscotch's spy, I'll take full responsibility. So, can we keep her? Magic candy golems aren't pets. I said no. I will work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with menial tasks. Menial? Menial tasks. It's true. She cleaned this whole place while you were down there making candy. Look around. It's spotless. Hmm. She did do a good job. It even looks brighter than usual. <sighs> Fine. She can work for one day, but after that, I want her out. Thank you, Syrup. I will not disappoint you. She's already started taking inventory by herself? What a hard worker. What are you smiling about? She'll steal your job at this rate. Gah, slow down! Welp, guess that's settled. I need to do some shopping. Wait! You waited, thank you! Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Master Bastille said that he will handle the inventory taking. If you're running errands, I would like to help. Whatever floats your boat. Fine, let's go. Huzzah! Marketplace. So, what are we shopping for today, Syrup? Tartrazine. I have never heard of that. Does it make your candy tastier? It's food colouring. It doesn't taste like anything. Oh, I was hoping we might buy something to make me taste better. Why? So I want to eat you? Yes! Well, you're out of luck. No matter what you taste like, I'm not eating you. Syrup, you are a very stubborn person. Yep. Here we go, Tartrazine. Mission complete! Now you can make more inventory for me to take. Sure, just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That is fine with me, I will just have to become your friend before then. Oh, it's the candy alchemist, nya? Syrup, a kitty cat! Nya, wow, where'd you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hated magic things, nya? What do you want? Gee whiskers, I'm not so rude as to decline greeting my master's rival when I see her. Salutations, nya. Oh, how polite. Nice to meet you, kitty. The name's Toffee, nya. And what do they call you, Miss Golem? I have not yet been given a name. Nya ho, how sad for you. But really, Candy Alchemist, I'm very surprised to see this new friend of yours. 
Oh, I do not think we have become friends yet, but I am working very hard at it. She doesn't look familiar to you? After all, it was your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no idea. You aren't fooling anyone, Cat. That rotten witch is the only one who tried to prank me like this. She made this golem to either spy on me or try to sabotage my business somehow. Sabotage your business? Master's your best customer, and yeah, that doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sure if she were here, she'd try to take responsibility for it, though. It takes some high-level magic to make a thing like that, and yeah. Which brings us back to my first point. Why is the Candy Alchemist, who's so outspokenly anti-magic, strolling around with such an unscientific creature, and yeah? I'll admit, you do have a point, Cat. I'll take her home. Come on, we're getting out of here. Okay, goodbye, Toffee. Running away, nya? Well, thanks for the interesting chat. The pair made their way home, and Syrup went straight back to work, making more delicious candies. In appreciation for the candy girl's enthusiasm and general willingness to be helpful, the candy alchemist decided to keep her as an assistant. And so, the golem started living with Syrup and Pastille at Atelier Sweets. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel... Jelly... something... hmm, no. You'll think of something! I have faith in you, Syrup! What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to candy golems aren't pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her candy, weirdo. Technically you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about Gumdrop? Gumdrop, it's a nice name. I think she likes it. Yes, I knew if it was Syrup she would pick something good. Oh. Hello, hello, the Chocolate Brothers are making their entrance. Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to pop in. Hello, welcome to Atelier Sweets. Oh, Candy Alchemist, you've got sugary golems for sale now? How charming. But if we're not mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making? Unless you found a way to create life through your alchemy. She's our assistant, and I didn't make her. Ooh, mysterious. I am completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, m'lady? Magic flowers. You are very good, sir. Can you not do that in here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store. I'll do what I want. Mm-hmm. Would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She's quite adorable. You can buy any other candy in here, but this one's mine. Syrup, I'm delighted that you think of me as yours. Don't take it the wrong way, you just work for me. Your looks are good for business. What a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. we have come to want one of our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh no, no. It is a very high-level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined power couldn't result in anything close to that. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Well, well, let's have you give it a go sometime then, hmm? Now I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that. Allow me to assist you at the register. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she ever does it. Whatever keeps has customers happy, though. Hey, Pastille, is it true that any old witch can make a golem? Huh? Well, you don't see very many walking around, so that sounds about right. Penny for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? N no Ask her to tell you who her creator is, and she won't tell me. You're my only hope, dude. Oh, I already asked, when I was training her for work. No luck there, sorry. Ugh, I'll drag it out of her some way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Yeah, I was planning on... Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop. Do you need something, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I'm interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it is done? So you can steal my recipes? Not at all. I only thought it would make a nice bonding experience, but if you do not wish to... Nah, I guess I don't mind. Just know I've got my eye on you. I'm definitely going to find out what your deal is. Bonding with syrup, huzzah! Right. 
Well, at least you have fun. Then after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is the secret ingredient? How fun! There's no secret ingredients, it's just regular hard candy. It is still exciting, what comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out, add some citric acid and color, and make it into whatever shape you want before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part. Here, when this batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Syrup, for these candies, I would like to use the color we bought together. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yellow it is then. Hmm, hmm, ba da 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 da. Does seeing to the candy make it taste better? I will join you, la la la. No, I think it has nothing to do with it. That's just kind of a habit I have, since usually no one's down here with me. I think your candy's appreciated anyway. That's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. It should be ready now. Here, try it. Actually, wait, would eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh, what other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I am also incapable of. Oh yeah, Gumdrop doesn't have a nose, so that makes sense. And you can see, like, Syrup's got a little bit of a nose there. I think that line means a nose. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some major sensory experiences, Gumdrop. I also don't feel pain, so being a candy person does have its advantages. Hmm, guess it's just a matter of perspective then, huh? So why do you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was it just to spy on me after all? I did enjoy it, now I have a better understanding of where I came from. I didn't make you though. Well, still. But maybe your parts were actually made by me? That witch does buy enough candy from me, so it's definitely possible. If you'd like to know for sure, you could always try a bite. Trying to trick me into eating you again? That's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of. What I really want to know is who put you together. I cannot tell you that. I am sorry. Figures, we're done here. Give that tray of candies to Pastille. I'm going out for a while. Syrup. Oop, she suddenly came out. Toffee, what do we do? Butterscotch, cat, what are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name, yeah? Don't dodge the question, and don't try to run away. Ha ha ha, who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your golem, yeah? Em, Toffee told me she's doing quite well in your hands. You know, the golem that I so magically, magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her. That's right, see for myself how diligent she's being at, um, spying up close. Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you in my store. I brought some dosh, I can buy your candy if it means I can check out your, my golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty cat from before! Who is your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch, Butterscotch. Be grateful she's gracing you with her presence, nya? Oh, there she is! Such beautiful gummy skin, and oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair! You haven't already? That's odd, considering you claim that you've made her. Th that's because I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed a lot of restraint, you know, but it paid off. She's perfect. Now Master is at her limit. She should let her have a taste before she loses it, Yeah. Absolutely not. You can have any other candy in here except Gumdrop. How cruel! You just want to keep her all to herself, don't you? I'll put up with it, for now. Just don't forget who that golem actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, enough whining. Just buy something and get out. And don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross. You should take this drool as a compliment, Yeah. Come on, Toffee, let's blow this popsicle stand. Next time those two come by, we really should just pretend we're closed. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others. Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough of them, she'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I do not think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care, anyway? 
I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants too? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get free candy from me? That is not the intention. Sorry, I didn't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Master Pastille, I do not think Syrup trusts in me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. When she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? We'll see. The next morning. Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Syrup! I'm organising your bookshelf! Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store hasn't opened for another few hours. I do not require sleep! Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and... You already did, but whatever. I guess it's fine. Syrup, I've noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh yeah? What's that? They are all very boring. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with reference to magic. Magic? Throw it out. Wait, isn't this... Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See this page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sweet. A legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. It looks like ice cream. Wouldn't it melt? <laughs> Those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained, and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet require both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create on their own. The ultimate sweet? Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastille I was going to make it one day so he could taste it. But, like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Master Pastille wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. I've already forgot about it by now. Syrup, we should make it! Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. You can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, um, I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely! Alright, Candy Weirdo, let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet without magic. Good, and while Master Pastille eats it, you can eat me! I've said it a thousand times, I'm not eating you. Disappointment. Come on then, we need to do some research before we go out gathering the ingredients. Alright, keep an eye out for so any encyclopedias about plants. Candy Alchemist, what a surprise. And you brought your new assistant, what do we owe the pleasure? It is the well-dressed twins from yesterday. Are you also looking for books? No, my dear. Our family owns the library. Really? Huh. You ought to have known that. Certainly you've lived here long enough by now. We're always dilly-dallying, so if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to the proper shelves. How convenient. We need information on a certain plant, so if you could help us be up with the process, we'd appreciate it. Glad to be of assistance, Candy Alchemist. We look forward to tasting whatever it is you're synthesizing. All of the plants in this book look so interesting. I'd like to see some of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. We have to travel pretty far to see even half of these. Travelling with Syrup! You would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Hopefully for this thing we won't have to go too far. Oh, this page. This is exactly what we need. Frosted Creamilla, a rare species of vanilla orchid that mysteriously, miraculously thrives in frozen environments. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but its fruit can last up to three days depending on storage temperature. Because it in inexplicably grows from cryotic soil, it is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ice goddess. According to this, we should be able to find it on Mount Sorbet, but... But? It's impossible. We definitely need magic to even have a chance of finding it. So we will ask a witch to help us. I am sure Miss Butterscotch would... Absolutely not. Then... How do you plan to get the final ingredient? <sighs> Look, it's not going to happen. That mountain is home to a ton of monstrous beasts and it's freezing cold. I'd probably die if one on my own. 
I shall accompany you, Syrup. You wouldn't be able to move in those temperatures. You ran out of candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put me in your mouth and... Stop. We're not going. Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? Kind of a waste of effort, if you ask me. You're right, Syrup. It is silly. Let's quit. Are you... angry? Nope. Master Pastille will not even know that he missed anything. It really was just a waste of time. Gumdrop? Gumdrop. Absorbed in thought, Syrup takes her time returning home. Was it worth it to deny her friend who would surely be what would surely be the most delicious treat in the world just to hang on to her stubborn pride? She never thought about it before, asking a witch for help seemed impossible for a variety of reasons. But soon, she might just have to. Oh, Sai, where have you been all morning? Out. Fair enough. If you see Gumdrop, could you ask her to run the run register for a while? Business has been picking up, so we actually need the help. She isn't here? Uh, I thought she was with you. No, I... I might know where she went. Just keep working. Don't worry about it. I'll be back. Not like I have any other choice. Oh well. <sighs> Meow wow, it's the Candy Alchemist again. I need your help. You're the only people I can ask. I don't want Pastille to know anything about this. Uh, oh, what is it? Something serious? Need to bury your body? No, Gumdrop ran off. I think she went to Mount Sorbet to get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever, you guys don't need to know the details. Ah, uh, so that's where she was going. I saw her pass by and wondered, nya? What? Why didn't you stop her? I greeted her, but that girl was on a mission. She barely even told me whether she was padding off to. She just pointed to the mountain and said, that way. You should know I have a policy of never asking too many questions. Curiosity only leads to trouble for folks like me. <sighs> Useless cat. At least that confirmed she was definitely going in that direction. I wonder how far she got. Do you think something bad happened to her? What if she got eaten along the way? If it's too cold, she won't be able to move, and if she doesn't come home, Pastille will get all upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make this special recipe for him, and if, she, and if he knew she was only trying to get that last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well... I guess I'd blame me too. Say no more, I'll help you find dear sweet gumdrop, but only if you give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. <sighs> Ugh, fine, I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste, that's it. We'll negotiate the terms later. Let's get your candy back. What about you, Cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? No thanks. That place is all snow and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a city dweller at heart, nya. Yeah. Just wait right here for us, Toffee. We'll be back before you know it. Be safe, nya. Yeah. I hate the cold. It's not that bad. I guess it's different for someone who's not protected by magic. <laughs> How about I bury you in the snow to see what your magical protection does against that? Oh my dear Candy Alchemist, aren't we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way to a party member. Let's just get along. Ugh, not you two. Gumdrop's always insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do things my own way without annoying people trying to befriend me? Uh, annoying? <clears throat> I didn't say we should be friends, I just think it'd be best if we cooperate. Fair enough. This place can be pretty dangerous. I've read there's ferocious wolves that'll gang up on you and rip you to shreds. W wolves? Uh, uh, I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? Do you think you'd take them out with your magic? I I easily. Oh, really? You're trembling. That's just because of the c c cold. Hey, what's that ahead? I is it a wolf? A monster? Syrup, do something! I think we found Gumdrop. She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, candy idiot. I told you this would happen if you came up here. You're lucky we found you. So someone was looking for her. Wolf! Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching this golem for a while now, wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. Huh? Huh? You live around here? We actually came to find a special plant. Do you think you could take her to, take her to your house to thaw while we go get it? I promise we won't be too long. Syrup, what if she eats her? Dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See, nothing to worry about. This way is a whole lot more convenient than taking her all the way home and then having to hike all the way back here for one little plant. I don't mind taking her in. Seeing her frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. 
We never know who you are. Why should we trust you with something as valuable as living candy? Treat. Huh? It's my name. Now we're acquainted. Alright, Butterscotch. Do you have any other problems, or can we get going now? N no, no. Glad that's all settled. Let's go find your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home. Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Syrup, right? I smell a pretty powerful spell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. I guess ordinary humans can't sense that kind of thing. It's plain as day to me. Anyway, it smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return your golem later. Sure, thanks. Ugh. Okay, I've been talking for half an hour and my throat is hurting, so... I'm gonna say that's the end of the video. We've got an idea of what the story's like, uh, a bit of a basic. I don't think I need to mark it as adult content. Like, she wasn't wearing any clothes, but there was nothing to see, so we're probably fine. Um, and she put clothes on pretty quickly as well, so I think we're all good. Um, options? Is that how I save? Return. Menu. Uh, options save. Okay. Ugh. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I might do another one. Does history show me? Yeah, it shows me like the stuff people have been saying. Neat. Scrolls through it very slowly though. You have to use the right stick and it scrolls up like this. Oh my goodness. That is, that is slow. Okay, um, anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!